Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video we are doing a October sewing makes and a what you working on Wednesday all in one. So before we get started go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So if you're if you are new, come on in, sit down, and thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch one of my videos. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back this week and joining me for another video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so I set up all of my Wednesday talks or what you're working on Wednesday, the same. I'm gonna tell you what I worked on or finished up what I am sewing this upcoming week. And I'm also gonna tell you the Joanne sell followed by my October sewing mix. All right, and then I do have a few patterns that I picked up during the last sell as well that I will show you what I picked up in the last sell um, that happened last week. So let's go ahead and get right on into what I sew this week. All right, so if you guys remember last week, it was super busy for Rochelle, okay? So I did the hashtag so purple to NALZ. I did the breast cancer awareness jacket. I did the Corella DeVille jacket, which I will show here um, towards the end of the video. But um, I'm gonna put some photos up as well. But I wanna make a note. It was a lot of jackets this month. So this week I did New Look 6035, which was the breast cancer awareness jacket. Listen, I love that jacket. If you go back to that breast cancer survivor, um, breast cancer survivors, Pattern review for New Look 6035. You guys will see how much I love that jacket. It is a quick blazer to put together. The video is coming this week. I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna try to have that video up by Friday. So stay tuned so you have the video for you to go get the pattern, you know, because New Looks will be going out of style. It's also available on Simplicity website. If you're looking for the pattern, it's New Look 6035. The video is very, very, very detailed. When I say it's very detailed, if you wanna do the quick version of the video, it is video number 14, I believe. New Look 6035, the jacket. This one um, will be very detailed because many of my subscribers have asked if I could go back and show how to make the dart, as well as do the under collar and upper collar. So I did detail, in full detail, the entire jacket, how to put it together. So stay tuned for that. I should have it uploaded by Friday, this Friday, as a matter of fact. All right, the second thing that I sewn right after that jacket was the Corella DeVille jacket. Actually, I sewed the Corella DeVille first and then sewed that jacket, to be honest. All right, so that pattern was Simplicity 9342. Listen, I wore that jacket on Halloween. <laughs> so um, that jacket, listen, I love it. I love it. My daughter wants one and I'm not going to construct one for her, but she could wear it whenever she gets my sides. So um, yes, I love that Corella DeVille jacket. Many of you uh, watched the video and said that you guys love my singing. I was doing something funny with my daughter, so she wanted me to keep it in the video. I was go cut it out. <laughs> I was just going to cut it out because I thought it was funny, but then, you know, it's Corella DeVille, so whatever. But those are the two things that I stoned this week. So let's go ahead and talk about what's coming up this upcoming week, all right? All right, so this upcoming week, I want to take kind of like a break from recording, period, because I've been recording quite a bit, many tutorials and all of that good stuff. So I wanna take a little break from recording. So I wanna work on the uh, next top in the top series. So that top is this pattern right here, which is Simplicity 9012. 
So this is the raglan sleeve top. Now I'm think I'm between patterns, like I said last week. Um, I'm thinking of doing this pattern, which is Simplicity 9012. I'm thinking of doing the dress. However, the fabric that I'm planning on using is a little busy for this pattern. Um, so I'm up in the air on this simply because I do wanna use this to get rid of the rest of this fabric. I do have more of this fabric in the dryer right now, drying um, on, and I wanna make a note off topic, but I want to make a note. Ankara fabric. So many have asked, how do I wash and dry my Ankara fabric? I wash all of my Ankara fabric on cold, machine wash normal, cold cycle. I put it in the dryer. I do not hang them to dry. I put it in a dryer on low air, I'm sorry, low heat, or air, depending on the color. So if it's a bright color, I put it on air. That means no heat whatsoever, but it's tumbling, right? If it's like a light color, like a white, a light pink, a orange, something really, really light, I put it on low heat. But I do not, do not take note, do not dry on medium or high heat whatsoever for my Ankara fabric. I just do not do it. I don't even do it with my jeans or anything. I don't even put jeans in a dryer. I put, I hang my jeans to dry. So that's how you preserve the colors in your Ankara print as well as your uh, cycle wash. That's what I do. But back to this pattern. So I'm still in between patterns for the raglan sleeve top. I'm not sure if I wanna use this pattern or a different one. If you have a raglan sleeve um, pattern that you think would go good with this fabric right here, please leave it below because I'm gonna have to go through my thousands of patterns to try to find a raglan sleeve uh, top or dress pattern that will go very well with this um, fabric. So I'm debating on what to use for my raglan sleeve top slash dress, whichever one I decide to do. So that's one of the plans that I have coming this upcoming week. The other plan is this top. So that's McCall's 8202. I plan on doing view C on the pattern, just the normal one. I don't want the ruffles or anything because I do want to revisit this pattern um, and do the ruffles at a later time. But those are the two plans that I have for this upcoming week. Now that I talked about what's coming this upcoming week, let's go ahead and get into Joann's pattern sale this week. All right, so Joann's pattern sale this week is McCall's Patterns. They will be on sale starting tomorrow, Thursday, November 4th, and will go until the 7th, which is Sunday. Yes, yeah, so the pattern sale McCall's $1.99 cent sale, November 4th through November 7th, which is Thursday until Sunday. So go ahead and get you some McCall patterns if you need to. However, I still have a lot of patterns left from that live pattern sale. So if you are interested, please let me know and I will get them out to you, okay? But you would have to go back to the live uh, video to see which ones are available. You can also look up and see that video link as well in the cards. All right, so now that I talked about, you know, the Joann's pattern sale this week, which is McCall's $1.99, I am gonna show you the patterns that I picked up during the last sale. It's not many whatsoever, so that's why I did not do a pattern haul. I just picked, these are the ones that I picked up for myself. So, yeah, let's get right on into it. So the first one is a Butterick pattern and it's Butterick 6133. Now I will put all of these up on the screen if I'm able to find um, the photo simply because some of the patterns are out of print. So I normally don't pick up a lot of out of print patterns whatsoever, but hey, it works. All right, so the first one is Butterick 6133. It is a blouse, it's loose fitting blouse with self lined yoke with forward shoulder seams, no sh uh, shoulder seams, raised waist, a princess seam on lower section, shaped hemline and narrow hem. 
that's what the description of this pattern is. Now, for me, I like view D and A, D and A. And those are the two views that I would do once I get around to this pattern. I need more tops for business style tops, so that's why I picked it up. But this is Butterick 6133. Next one is Butterick 5786, which is this one right here. Another button down shirt, I know, but this is kind of like a high-low one. Now, the reason why I picked this up, well, both of them actually. So, when I did the international pattern haul for Jamaica, these two patterns were on that list. So I picked one up for um, someone in Jamaica and I also picked up one for myself. So these two are from that list that I was receiving, that I received. So thank you so much, Miss Jamaica, <laughs> for these two um, ideas because I overlooked both of these patterns when they were out. So I went ahead and picked it up now. And of course, I'm going to need to have to do some um, grading and sizing because they are not completely in my side, but it's okay. I'm okay with grading it up. All right, so another one that I picked up and I thought I had this pattern, I think I have this pattern, is Simplicity 8979. So with this pattern, I wanted to do this dress for Halloween to actually wear it in downtown Disney, but decided not to go downtown Disney, thank goodness, because there was a shooting that day um, on Halloween. So downtown Orlando, I shouldn't say downtown Disney, downtown Orlando. Um, but it was a shooting that day, so I did not go and I did not make the dress because I had way too many four cause events that did not allow for me to do anything extra after that breast cancer awareness uh, jacket. So that took a lot of my time, only because I was filming, but it's okay. But this is Simplicity 8979. All right, so getting into some more Butterick patterns. Next one is Butterick 5529. Now the reason why I picked this pattern up is because it's like a simple, um, over jacket, right? So the pattern description says it's a loose fitting jacket with no closures. Um, you have A and B is above waist, dolman sleeves, pleated drape, B have sleeve bands, C and D have kimono sleeves, stitched hem, and then D you have below the hips, purchase ribbon trim, and then E you have self line above waist and optional edge stitching. So for this pattern, I like view D, and that's the view that I would do when I get around to this pattern. Now, when I say when I get around to this pattern, it's already on my list. Reason being is because it's, really, let's see, what's the notions? Um, for D, I just need ribbon. I don't know where you need to put the ribbon at, but because it doesn't look like you need any ribbon anywhere, but that's the view that I'm interested in doing when I get around to this pattern, view D, and this seems to be like a super simple sew. So probably a two hour sew in your gut. Now the pattern also says that it's an easy, so this has to be pretty easy to do. <clears throat> Next one, I have, our, I have this pattern. It's McCall's 8057. I've sewn this pattern already. It's also McCall's 6843. I will go ahead and put in pictures of when I sewn it back in February, March of this year. It was blue. So I just picked it up again to do the shorts and to do probably some pants too um, in, a, in a pants series that I plan on doing at 8057. Next one, Butterick 6179. If you guys remember, I did these already called the Gord Pants back in January of this year. So the size that I cut, I believe was a size 16 or 18. I need to cut a different size, really, a smaller size because I didn't lost weight. So I picked up a new clean pattern to redo it and of course, UD is what I did, so that's what I will be doing again. And that's butter at 6179. All right, so now I have some Vogue patterns that I picked up. First one is Vogue 1832. So <laughs> I have a story behind this pattern, which I'm not gonna say, but um, I, I seen this for the jacket and the pants and that's 
the reason why I picked it up. It's A and C. I also shared this pattern with my sister and she went and picked up this pattern as well. So uh, my sister may be sewing this pattern together too. So you may see both of us do it at the same time. But this is A and C, uh, 1832. Also another one that my sister, now my sister told me about this pattern and it's Vogue 1826, the hoodie. Only because I said I wanted to um, do, use my Cricut to make a hoodie. Not necessarily make the hoodie, but to um, throw some graffiti on the hoodie. So I figured, why buy a hoodie and do that when I can be creative and sew a hoodie? So the first thing she said is, I just picked up a hoodie pattern that's Vogue. I said, well, Vogue's on sale, what's the pattern number? And she said 1826. Why did I have the pattern in my hand immediately while I was talking to her? I don't know, but it is 1826. Next one is 1828. So love those pants, plan on doing them. Love it, 1828. Next one is 1840. So I like this jacket right here, the shorter version, and that's the one that I plan on doing, which is view A but this is 1840. This is an average pattern, which means you're going to need to have some sewing knowledge. Um, for the description, it's very loose fitting, unlined jacket with dual separating front zipper, raglan sleeves with continuous lap, opening, ending, and button cuffs, inside drawstring waist, and also side seam pockets. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need to have some sewing knowledge in order to do this pattern. It is. It is average, um, so I would say intermediate beginner, advanced beginner can sew this pattern, but it's Vogue 1840. The next one is 1853. There's a story behind this pattern, which I'm not gonna disclose that story, but um, my husband was like, this is a man's pattern, not a woman's pattern, so why would you sew it for a woman? <laughs> I'm gonna sew a man's pattern or a woman pattern. I don't care. <laughs> if I want it, I'm gonna sew it. That's what we do as sewers, right? <laughs> All right. So um, this is a men's coat. It's fitted, lined, double busted coat. Has two piece sleeves with button trim, shoulder pads, welt pockets with flap. It has back half belt and back bent, and then it has length variations as well. And also it has a high stand collar and that can be worn up or down. Some of the fabrics you can use is wool blends, gabardine, and denim as well. And I mean, you can use some other types of fabrics if you decide to as well. This is an average pattern. So that means you need to be probably an intermediate sewist intermediate beginner or beginner advanced beginner can sew this pattern but this is 1853 next one 1852 so this is simple i picked this up simply because i seen this for many different options as a wardrobe right so i felt like this is a more relaxed fitted fitting like a loungewear collection right you could do pretty much a b c and d on the pattern and you could actually have an E if you decide to make the pants shorts as well. So this is more like a loungewear collection. So if you're into loungewear and you, you know, work from home and lounge all the time, this may be for you. Um, I don't have a job where I'm able to lounge around all the time. So I won't be sewing this for work, but I can sew this for something for just out and about and lounge around at home as well. But this is Vogue 1852. The next pattern is also a Vogue, but listen, I had to make a couple of calls on this pattern. Um, this is Vogue 9332. <laughs> I love AC on this pattern. Yes, hands down. So I picked this pattern up because you guys know that I do a lot of series. I do a lot of um, separates. So this was perfect because I can make a three piece set with this pattern. I could do A, I think this is B, yeah. I could do the jacket, the skirt, and the pants. You could literally put this together, sew everything twice, like in a solid and a print or a solid and a stripe, 
or whatever and have so many different options. And if you also put together a color uh, scheme, like say for instance, a black and yellow, right? As your color scheme. You could do a black jacket and then a black skirt. And then for the pants, you could do print or yellow top, yellow pants, whatever. And pair them however you want. And the number of possibilities or are endless to the point where that's what you want to do with your wardrobe. You can sew one item and wear it so many different ways. And I'll do something like that where I sew one item and style it 10 different ways. That would be amazing to do, I know. Um, but this is Vogue 9336. All right, so I'm gonna go through these quickly. Simplicity 8413. This is an older pattern. This is not one that I picked up from the drawer. This was one that was sent to me um, from Etsy. This is 8413. And this is the smaller size pattern, so I would have to size this one up as well. Next one, 4101. So I picked this up for the pants because I like the little cargo part, part of it. So it's elastic waist pants but it has cargo style pockets on the side and I like that. So that's what I picked it up for. Plus it was 99 cents. It's an easy to sew pattern, but it's 4101. Next one is 8557. So I remember cutting this pattern before when I was much bigger than what I am. And now that I'm into wanting to sew more wardrobe things that I can wear, even though I work from home, I can wear, you know, for, zoom or whatever instead of just putting on a shirt to look presentable and yada 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 i actually put on a whole outfit as if i'm going out the door because i never know if i have to leave quickly to pick up children or whatever so i like to be put together all the time but this is uh simplicity 8557 and i like everything on this pattern all right next one is simplicity 8519 so I picked this up because I have some pants that's similar to it. I made it and they're like lounge pants, right? So I have made 8518 um, and ooh, I must have made it like five or six years ago. Fits amazing to this day. So I wanna make some more pants and do, you know, like a family thing with the lounge pants for Christmas and take some photos, but this is 8518 and the man and boy one is 8519. And you may see those in the pattern drawer because it was only one left and those were the only uh, ones that was left in my pattern, in my Joann's pattern drawer. Next one is Simplicity 1069. So you guys know I made this during the summer skirt series. So why did I pick it up again? Because I picked this up for my sister, one that don't sew by the way. Um, when she comes during the um, holidays, Christmas, she wants me to make her that wrap skirt. So I needed to pick it up in a smaller size because she itsy witsy skinny weeny girl. I mean, she's, she's really that small. But it's Simplicity 1069. Next one for my husband, but also for myself, because then I say that I don't care if it's a men pattern or a woman pattern, if I want it, I'm gonna sew it. That's what we do as sewists. Um, Simplicity 9157. So um, I, for myself, want to do view B. I'm not sure what my husband wants, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't want long sleeve because it doesn't get that cold here in Orlando. I'm pretty sure he's going to want view B on this pattern, but we'll see. Let's see if he wants to do a, you know, his and hers look or something. We'll see. 9157. Also, if you're look, uh, this pattern is hard to find. It's not, it's not old, but this is pretty new as in like 2020 new. If you're looking for new look 6197, this is pretty much the same pattern, being that this is Simplicity 9157. All right, and the last one I picked up again because I sewn this one and I have a tutorial for it, which is new look 6651. You can look up and see that tutorial, but I did view B with the length of view A. Now I picked this one up again for two reasons. Reason being is because I want to do a um, separate. So I want to do the top and cut it off at the first elastic. But then I also wanna do a set, the bottom one and just use that bottom elastic to make it separate, but also use the view of the length of view A. 
So that's the reason why I picked it up again because the pattern that I just did and, and recorded, I'm gonna use that pattern, but I wanna have a fresh clean pattern after I do that because I'm gonna have to slash and spread and do a couple of things to that pattern. And I just wanted one that I don't have to do that to. So that's why I picked this one up. It's six, five, five, six, six, five, one. All right, so that's all the patterns that I picked up from Joann's. So now that I showed you the patterns that I picked up from Joann's doing the pattern sale, let's go ahead and get into my October sewing mix. All right, so here we are with my October uh, sewing mix. So it was a lot. It was a total of 11 items right here. So I'm just gonna run through them quickly because many of these have either a tutorial or a pattern review. So you can go back to the video and see that pattern review as well. So the first one is the bomber jacket and the pants, which I will put a picture of what it looks like together here. Um, the bomber jacket is Simplicity 8418. Love it, we'll sew it again. And the pants is Simplicity 9268, which is a Mimi, G Mimi G's pattern as well. I love it, I had an inspiration photo, so that's why I made the outfit. But this is one of the things that I sewn in the month of October. The next thing that I sewn in the month of October was this yoke top. So this was part of the top series, new look 6374. Love the colors, loved how I paired it. I paired it with tennis shoes. Of course, I'll put a picture up so you can see that once again. Um, but this is new look 6374, love, love, love. This fabric was from Michael Levine over six years ago. So love this and would I make it again? Um, probably not because I have many tops that I can make, but I do love the colors and I will keep this in my wardrobe. The next thing that I made was also a tutorial McCall 7629, which is also McCall's 8067. Um, I love this. I actually wore this to um, Disney last week, so. Uh, <laughs> and got so many compliments on it. So I just wish that I had more fabric to do one more thing with this uh, fabric, but I didn't and I don't wanna buy any more and order it. So it's just gonna have to stay as a shirt. But this is McCall 7629, also McCall's 8067. Next one is Butterick's 6677, this is a dress. I wish I had more fabric for that last tier. I didn't have enough fabric, so I had to do what I had to do. I did show how I did the button loops, belt loops, I'm sorry, belt loops on this side for the belt, the tie belt to hold on to. I also showed in the video um, how, in a separate video, how I did the ties for this. I did a pattern review for this. Brittany J. Jones also have a tutorial for this, but this is Butterick 6677. The next one was my hashtag so purple to in ALZ that I did last week. This is a love. I mean, like when I talk about all the ones that I love this month, this one has to be at the top of my list because this, this one was for my mother, my grandmother, and my grandfather. You could see that video of hashtag so purple to NALZ. I also paired it with Simplicity 1366, which is the um, cami that's underneath it as well. I love this whole pairing situation of Simplicity 8558 as well. My mother loved it. Um, yeah, it was amazing, so. Love this. This is one of my favorite this month, okay? Another favorite this month, even though the bomber jacket is another favorite, um, but this is another favorite this month, which is New Look 6035. Tutorials coming soon. Um, but this was my breast cancer survivor jacket that I made using New Look 6035. I just talked about it last week, so I will not bore you with talking about it once again. Love the fabric, but this is a new look 6035. And the last thing that I made this month in the month of October is my Corella DeVille jacket utilizing Simplicity 9342. Love the jacket. There is a tutorial for, 
uh, tutorial for this jacket as well. So those are all the things that I made this month, which happens to be a total of four jackets. <laughs> That's a lot in one month. Four jackets, two pairs of pants, four tops, and uh, four tops and one pair of shorts. So that's all the things that I made in the month of October. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, keep sewing.